Okay, natural gas, right? You got it. So it's Thursday. We're going to get those EIA natural gas numbers. I just pulled up kind of the whisper number here. So we're looking at a decline of about 200, I think that's going to be 200,000 uh, barrels in there. Um, we'll pull it up in a moment, but nonetheless, jumping back to the natural gas chart, looking at the April contract, trading just under 285. We were up there briefly on a couple occasions just after 9 o'clock and just after 8 o'clock this morning. So I jumped in here. We're going to look at maybe we get those numbers at 1030. Uh, I jumped to so 285 is a nice price point if you want exposure to the yeah. upside and the downside. You're right next to that level. Uh, the noons and the 11s both line up with 285 being a price point, which is nice. All right. So I started off with the noons, which we usually prefer. Give us a little time, an hour and a half to, after we get those inventory numbers. I pulled up. Here is your 12 o'clock expirations, right? Your bullish spread on the right. This one's going to be a little bit out of the money because you can see you start gaining value when it gets above 285 on the bullish side. A little bit out of the money. It's going to be our cheaper spread, costing us $10 because we're getting in at 286, one penny above the floor, 285. Okay. And I can already tell the bearish side, it's going to be about a $4 difference, right? This one's going to be $14, difference being we're about $4 in the money on the bearish side. So you're looking at 24 bucks, 2.4 pennies that you need away from 285. Um, not bad for natural gas no, lately with, with inventory numbers about to drop. Just backing things up for a little perspective. This is just yesterday. We were down there at almost 276, right? I mean, nine, eight, nine pennies in the span. And just to get a feel, so those are our noons. If you wanted just to maybe have that trade right for the number, not paying for that extra hour, we'll just pull these up. This is going to be, I'm going to close this for a moment. So this is going to be, and this is great when you can put them side by side. Same prices, just paying for the hour. Here's your 11 a.m. Here's your noon. Yeah. You were paying $10, right? 286. Yes. In this one, you're going to be paying seven dollars. Let me just tick in. You're going to be paying seven because you're getting a 285 seven. So do you want to pay that extra three dollars or three tenths of a penny per side uh, for that extra hour? And we'll just square it up. So there's your bullish side, looking at about seven. Same thing. Pull it up the bearish side. You're selling it. Looking about ten. So you're looking at $17 versus 24, 1.7 pennies versus 2.4 pennies for that hour. Um, and again, just pushing things. You know, we always pull up both sides because that way it's nice not having to pick. We were just talking to Kevin Hinks, right, about trading the VIX. You know, you're right. buying volatility when slow, you're selling it when it's high. You're not even worried sometimes about what side you need to be on if no. you're doing, you know, he was saying double sided, you know, whether it's yes. diagonal spread, whatever right. it is. Uh, same thing here. Do you want to pay that type of premium? But you can always go bullish or bearish because, man, if you're directional, I mean, not a bad trade, man, to get in at $7 at 285 7 right? Your, your losses are capped at 7 bucks. Now, your risk is it expires where it is yep. and you lose everything, yep. right? You're That's slightly out of the money. Pretty cool. Now, vice versa, you can get in the bearish side yep. and your, your risk is it stays where it is, right? You get in at 10 and you get back, though, because uh, it's at 284.6, three and a half pennies if it stays where it is. So you're yep. really only paying the same amount of premium in the market on both sides. This one just has some value where you're sitting. Not a bad trade, man, if you really are directionally biased with the numbers coming and you're looking for some movement in one way or the other, and not a bad trade for 17 bucks to totally. go on both sides. Yeah. So let's go take a look at it. So when we're doing that, the first trades that we lined up, that's a volatility. It doesn't matter which way it goes. And the second one, of course, has to do with, uh, you know, if you think it's going to go one way or the other. Yeah, if you're just taking one side of that trade, right? Right. You're going to be directionally biased for sure. And if we take a look at this now, this is going to be slight. Well, actually, it's it's right kind of no. It's just, it's still this is a delayed quote uh, right, anyway, folks. So you can just see it. But I'm just curious as to what. Do you mind we if I did. just check back? Yep. We may be on a different contract. Uh, no, nope, we're good. Okay. So, Some of them have already rolled yeah. to June. So if we take a look at this, uh, okay. So bottom line is that you come down kind of hot on Monday. That's a two a two. Eight four one. <coughs> yep. Yeah. So, which are just over, right? Yeah. yeah. My, my take would be that yeah, you're gonna back down a little. We'll see. We'll see how that shakes out. Yeah. Um, and then the. It, what was interesting is that the, the numbers still have a drawdown versus a build, and we must be getting close to a, a build, right? Well, actually, the, the, you know, <laughs> there's, there's articles in the paper today that <laughs> we're so busy in Florida right now, folks, because what has happened, this is going to be the first month in Pinellas County that they're going to take in $10 million in bed tax. That's t in one month. Okay. Um, and it's a 6% deal. That's what it comes down to. Sorry, in bed tax, we're talking about natural gas. Tie that all together for... That it's been so cold across the country that there's so many people here. Okay. But, you know, the, cold, okay. the colder it is across the country, the more people come in these six weeks to Florida. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, 
877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 45, NASDAQ are 5, S&P's down 7, and look at that number. There's your number. Stockpiles declined 204 billion cubic feet. Median estimate was 210, so yeah. slightly off that number. And we'll jump back to the chart, see how we're doing. Pull up that chart. A little bit of a drop I saw, yeah. So we had the contract. We were just under 285, right? We just dropped about a penny. Nothing too dramatic. Yeah. Um, nothing too dramatic, so we'll see. But... It should be as in, didn't decline as much as they thought. We have a little bit more supply than they might have thought. When you have more supply, it's going to be cheaper prices for the same product, right? So we have more supply. Now, it's only talking about 6 billion cubic feet. The estimate is like 210. Pretty close, but nonetheless, we're... Uh, and you're coming into the, you know, I, I don't know when they start the build again. Um, I, I'm sure it has to do with the cold weather across the country, but yes. we're pretty close. I mean, yeah, what and is that's, it, March 14th today? Excuse me. Uh, yes, it is, yeah. I believe, right? Yeah, it right. is the 14th, and this is what it was just kind of talking about. So this is prior to the news that yeah. this story came out, but it is talking about um, widening supply shortfall to normal levels has buoyed prices amid late-season cold blasts through much of the winter. Um, it's muted. Uh, the move's been muted as demand is poised to slacken with the approach of spring, which is kind of what you're talking about. And five-year average is usually only a decline of 99 oh, billion cubic okay. feet, right? Yep. Year earlier was only minus eight, uh, 88. Um, and so that's just kind of talking about what we're talking about in terms of they, this is ahead of the news again that futures were rising for a third straight day on speculation that the report will show a record seasonal drop in stockpiles after a frigid start to the month. So we're close to a record seasonal drop. Um, just like you're saying, that usually we're not plowing through this amount of natural gas anymore right. because maybe temperatures are softening, but that is not the case. And so we just dropped about a couple pennies. Keeping in mind now, let's just jump back to maybe the noons. Uh, actually, before we do, so here's both sides of this trade. There's your bearish side right there. If you want to get out, you're getting out of 15, you're putting up 7 bucks, right? And just on the bearish side. Uh, bullish side, obviously, you're out of the money here. But if we had the volatility trade, let's just say we did the noon volatility, which we like doing sometimes. Yeah. Your bearish spread having all the value. And now there's a little bit, 282.9 to 2. So you're looking at a $5 bid offer spread. Um, which is something to consider when you're putting up 23. That's okay? why. Because yeah, that's yeah. why. You, that's right. where you know it's it's just uh, they're they're small numbers, but um, and let me just we'll uh, yeah, numbers. that's what I was just thank you. Um, so you obviously need a bigger move than this because you're only a penny and a half away from the price right. point. You were putting up about 2.4 pennies, so you realistically want at least three pennies where you start getting right. into the money there, and that would be about 282 to the downside. Um, so we'll see. I think that's a noon on that one. That's a noon. That's which, why, yeah. Which makes the difference. Let's check back in on natural gas real quick, see where we're trading at as we're about 15 minutes after that number. And uh, so we saw the initial spike down to a low of 282.68, but pretty, pretty muted response so far right. on that natural gas number sitting just under that level. We're within about a penny of where that news was uh, before and you we don't, came up. If you had a volatility trade, you don't want this at 285, folks. Correct. That's, that's your max line. loss right, right there, 285. Right. Anywhere away from that point, you gain value. We should go back to natural gas. Let's see where Let's we see at. Let's see where we're at. Meh. 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 Pretty Meh. muted response. Meh. 283. We'll see. Stay right there, folks. We got a fast market coming up next. I'm Mr. Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wham! Go get him, folks.